McDowell Manufacturing is a program where students are able to come down and have an internship here at McDowell. Uh, and at the basic level, they're creating real parts for real companies. We allow students, uh, mainly juniors and seniors, to leave during the school day to job shadow in a career field that they're interested in pursuing after graduation. We come in and we have a five minute meeting at the beginning of the day to go over what we want to do for the day, what goals we want to accomplish. You're going to be working on whatever your assignment is, whether that's creating parts, creating a design for a part, making a call, making sure people know that they're on the same page. Um, most of that comes with production, so production is always usually the number one priority. So when we get the job, there's usually a blueprint and we have to draw the part up on the computer with all the dimensions and the tool paths that the machine's going to run. And then when we think it's ready, we'll 3D print it so we can make sure like the size is correct and everything fits well. And if it doesn't, then we make the changes on the computer and try it again. Well, my uh, role in the Manufacturing Academy is uh, quality assurance. I inspect our parts to make sure they're all within the tolerances specified. And with that being said, to get a quality assurance certificate, I have to take a few dual enrollment classes. Sometimes you're running parts on a machine. Sometimes you might be trying to run a tool path. Uh, we, we knew that CNC manufacturing was the future. and. It, it came at the right time because we had uh, NWIRC, Northwest Industrial Resource Center, come to us and say, hey, we have this great idea that your students should be doing real projects for real companies. So we started talking about this, we started talking to some local manufacturers and, and business groups of what's the need out there? You know, what, what need do you have in your businesses that we can help support? And, and the number one answer was skilled labor. You know, they need people that can run machines like this you see here. So. That's really where the idea started. I'm learning a lot of skills that I'm going to be able to use in a future career in the business field, and I'm getting real world applications. Right. Graphic design potential because really you can like do anything at McDowell Manufacturing, and I wanted to do like graphic design elements. It started as a basically a uh, an enterprise program, and it expanded to where it is involving um, 20 plus students in its first year. It's engaging students, not just in production, but in other types of jobs. Mm -hmm. I am tasked with suggesting how we actually do manufacturing things uh, outside the scope of the educational environment, right? What is the real world looking for? Uh, what is real manufacturing? What's current? Uh, and what are our needs so we can start to help students, or rather the, uh, the program, develop students in a way that when they leave here, they can go find a career. So we started doing trainings and I really got interested in it and I got interested in the production portion of it because I've been on robotics for the past four years on the build team and we knew that if we put the work in, we put the effort in, we put the training in, we knew that we could make an impact in our community and we could make an impact further down the road nationally or internationally. So that's really what got me interested in it, making an impact. For me, I'm definitely interested in like the engineering field, and this is an incredible opportunity to set myself apart from others in my field, especially women in the field. Um, it just takes it to the next level and gives you that edge over other people who you're competing against.